Okay, hey guys, it's Austin back, and I wanted to do a proper uh, sound demo of this board. I've been wanting to do it for a long time, but it's at the spot now where I'm pretty much happy with it. So, um, I just want to go through the sounds I have and be constructive about it and just run through. I don't want to take a ton of time, but I want to shed some light on some some things that maybe is missed in sort of the short-term media with Instagram, Instagram stories. So, um, this patch has, I believe, a compressor, a digital compressor in it. Okay. And then I have a loop one is the Morning Glory. And I'm just going to and over it has a noise suppressor on it which helps a lot with um, I'm using single coils or if the sound gets just too uh, noisy and then I have looks like an extra delay that's in here okay and so with this patch I'm MIDI controlling these two pedals I have the um, DD500 I have a, a custom delay that I have it's called monster <laughs> And it's a uh, it's a pretty heavy delay that sort of carries itself. Um, I have just want to go through it. Can I show you? It's like a standard delay that I have set three hundred sixty five milliseconds. Um, feedback sixty six tone that's at a zero effect level seventy eight. Uh, a little bit of mod depth. Um, direct level 100, and I have the EQ, EQ switch on. I have a low clad at 20 hertz. Uh, low gain is plus a dB. EQ, low mid gain plus 3 dB. Um, the low mid frequency is 800. Uh, low mid Q is 1. And then the high mid frequency is uh, 4, I think it's 4,000 uh, hertz. And the Q is one of that. And what I can do with this is there's a lot of EQ settings on that. Um, I'm, I'm more than happy to give out my settings. Um, so if you maybe want, I can type it out in the comments what I have on that one. And then I have, I'm using the space algorithm on this H9. Um, this particular one's called Dark Matter. And this is the sound that I was playing at the beginning, but... I'll just sort of go through and play, play a little bit more so you can kind of hear what it sounds like. switcher I have my volume pedal in there so that allows me to do swells so So that's sort of my basic sort of clean washi patch. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch to, that was preset one, I'm going to go to preset two on here. Now this one, um, I'm going to go ahead and play through it, let you hear it, then I'll explain it. So in each of these presets, I'm going to start by playing. Then I'm going to go through some of the pedals. Some of them remain the same. 
Um, then I'll kind of hit up some settings. And then um, what I'll do is I'll put uh, the settings for like the H9 and D D the uh, DD500 in the comments. And then I even could send those out. Like if you have an H9 or uh, the boss pedal, I could... Um, if you uh i could just send you those via email or whatever if you'd like to kind of have those on your own rig but okay here's the second one So in this one, I'm using Loop 2, which has the Freeman B-E-O-D in it. And it's a very, uh, it's like a Marshall from Heaven in a pedal. And uh, what I like about this one, it has a tight, tight control. Um, so it basically kind of shovels the, the low end. So, you're, so you don't have to worry about it bottoming out on you. And it just stays really nice. And just like that. Okay, and then this one, I, uh, I want to say, okay, I don't have any digital effects in there. I am using the volume pedal, so that's sort of always on in all my patches. And um, I have the Master EQ set on the Boss MS3 to 800 hertz, uh, a mid, a little bit of a mid curve at 800 hertz, and it's set to 1. So that sort of um, it applies all my patches to where it kind of pushes it through the mix a little bit. I'm using a setting called Parallel World on here. And let's look at it. I don't have the EQ switch on here. Uh, this one is a, a parallel delay. Sorry, dual delay. Um, and it's set to parallel. Uh, time is 428 milliseconds. Um, pretty much all there is special on this one. Feedback is at 45. Lots of tone options on here. Tone is plus 4, effect, effect level 70. And again, I'll put these in the, uh, the comments. Just sort of want to read over some to kind of get you in the ballpark if you're, if you're working on your board at this time or, or whatever you happen to be doing. <clears throat> then, and again, these are controlled via MIDI on this preset, and I have this one set to a hall reverb. Uh, it's a pretty standard. Let me get it. Let me turn that off so you can hear the hall. Not a crazy, super long one, but just enough to. Alrighty. Let us go on to the the next one, preset three, and then I'm gonna just play a little bit, and then I'll talk about it. This one is sort of a gospel barbershop quartet sort of thing. It's super, uh, super dry. It has a little bit of reverb. On this one, I believe I have a, I do have a, um, a compressor, a digital one that's in the MS3. I'm using the Morning Glory by JHS. And uh, I literally haven't figured out how to turn off 
the DD500 per preset because I'm using MIDI. So I just set a delay to one millisecond, which you can't really hear it. Like you can technically, but it doesn't have the you know, delay effect. So that's what this is what the delay sounds like by itself. So you can barely. And then I have a spring on it, a spring delay. Oh, sorry, reverb. That's a little bit of an accentuated spring reverb. That's probably a spike in the mess of you guys' ears, I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm going to move on to uh, preset number four, and uh, like the other ones, I'll just play, and then let you hear it, and we'll go over it. Okay, so this is my, I call my sore lead. I love this for just uh, anything lead wise, anything slow, um, just big, open. And uh, let's see, uh, what I need to say about this one is, I don't have any digital effects in this one going on besides the noise suppressor. I tend to use that with all the patches just to keep from, or let me just kind of show you the work this, this little guy has been doing. This is without the noise suppressor. And this is with it. So it's really chomping at the bit, like getting that extra noise out of there. And with this one, you'll see familiar delay and reverb. I'm using the monster delay and, and then the hall reverb. Um, I haven't branched out too far as far as, far as like creating like, you know, meticulous delays and reverbs just yet for each one. I kind of have delays and reverbs that I have liked, and so I've just sort of pre-programmed those into these settings. Okay, we're going to move on to bank two, and I have a couple there, and then we can end. Alrighty, bank two. So this one, I need to manually switch on the, the pog. Um, so yeah, I'll just play and then we'll, we'll go over just like...
So this one, obviously I'm using the POG, which it generates octaves both on top and below. So the octave up and down. Let me show you what that's doing. So it's kind of give you an idea of what it's doing. Then I'm using Parallel World again, which is the delay we talked about earlier. And I'm using a the, um, the dark matter that we used before, except with this setting, I have the mix kind of like uh, yanked up in the, the gain department to um, kind of have this big ambient wash. So the river by itself sounds like this. And you add the delays. And like with this one, I mean, it's it's preference. I like swelling up with the octaver. Using my volume pedal here, because if you just attack the note, well, it sounds good there too, but just swelling it in sounds really nice. just a, a clean wash. Um, this delay, or sorry, this reverb is a delay. Let me just show you because everything else is kind of the same. I'm using Morning Glory um, delay and let me show you this reverb and turn this on and let me kind of show you what I use it for. sound and you want to delay and reverb that helps you but doesn't take over your sound and it just it sort of lays underneath your playing this is what I use this setting for and, all right hopefully I've covered everything like uh, any questions leave in the comments or direct message me or Facebook or Twitter or whatever you use okay and then let me just show you a close up of, or I might be able to, yeah, I'll do this. Kind of give you guys a close up of the pedals. So let me bring my camera over here. Just so if you need to screenshot them or whatever, if you're interested in those. Okay. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm really glad that I. I only just sat down and did this because I really wanted to do this sort of thing for a while. Anyways, uh, thank you guys for checking out the video and see you guys next time.